Hello, YouTube friends. Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today I want to talk with you about substrates. Now that I've had an opportunity to actually work side by side, literally side by side, as you can see behind me here, with uh, a very dark and a very light substrate, uh, I can uh, give you some input about the pros and cons of each one. So let's get right into it. And I definitely appreciate you being here. And I appreciate your comments below on what you think about this topic and what's been your experience using light and dark substrates. So let's go ahead and get underway. If you're new to the channel, be sure to uh, hit that bell so you get notifications when I upload new information, new videos, and also be sure to hit that thumbs up, like button if you, if you do like it. And uh, this, this tells YouTube that you're liking the content, getting something out of it, and, uh, and it looks like we're running at about 70, over 70% 70 of folks that are not subscribed, so hit that sub button too if you can, if you're inclined to. Uh, no pressure and uh, a full refund if you're not satisfied. So. <laughs> Also, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, go on over to Amazon, use that link, amazon.com slash shop slash banochart, and anything you get at Amazon will uh, support the channel. And also anything, any swag or merch that you pick up at the, uh, at the uh, Teespring uh, website, like you see my son wearing here with, the, uh, with that coffee cup and sweatshirt for the channel. Those are all available on uh, the Teespring website. Thank you to those of you who have purchased items there. So uh, let's go ahead and get into uh, today's topic. And I want to I start by looking at some of the pros and cons of the different kinds of substrate. And uh, one thing I've noticed with, uh, with a dark substrate, as you can see here in the uh, image that I've added to the, uh, to the frame here, is... It, it, it does actually darken to some degree, and I think it might be a survival mechanism, especially when you think about how fish are hunted by, by birds from above and certainly by, you know, by other fish from above and from below on the side. They do tend to um, darken or lighten depending uh, on the surroundings. They, they have a, a bit of a camouflage. So if you have fish that you want to have a darker... Uh, perhaps a, a more richer coloring, uh, certainly consider a, a darker substrate like the one you see here. Another point that I'll, that I'll mention about this dark substrate is that it's, it's, uh, it's very, very forgiving. And by that, what I mean is uh, you can go for a longer period without vacuuming, especially a, a, finer, a finer substrate like a sand where things will rest on top, where the darker substrate that's going to be a bit more forgiving. You're, you're, it's not going to show every little piece of detritus. This substrate right now, if I was to uh, if I was to vacuum it, you would be surprised at, at how much I'll pull up. But yet, when you look at it, you don't really you really can't tell that it has some some waste on it. What you see are different different colors of blacks and maybe a little red and a little white and. Uh, it is a very, a very forgiving substrate when it comes to uh, showing waste. Now, compare that uh, to a white, you know, a whiter substrate, a lighter substrate like you see here. And this is the tank, the South American tank behind me on, on, this, on the other side of me. And you can see here a couple things. One is it does, it does sort of bleach out the fish a little bit. And it shows every little bit of, of waste. Now, that might be good for some of you because it will prompt you and, and uh, in some ways force you to stay on your maintenance to get, to get your vacuuming going or maybe to put in a power head or a wave maker that will suspend, get that waste to get up floating into the water column so it can get absorbed and pulled into a filter. So uh, there are different ways of working it, but for me, it serves as a reminder, hey, let me get the vacuum out, let me do a, t a touch up and, uh, and work it into a, a small water change. But it also, it also does lighten 
Uh, I wouldn't go as far as to say wash out, but it does lighten fish, the colors of fish. And in some cases, if you want a fish that's very translucent, that's, um, I remember when I put an autopharynx tetrastigma in a whiter substrate, he almost looked translucent as opposed to looking darker and more gray when he was, when he was in a black substrate. So it will affect both color and your maintenance schedule. So just things to keep in mind. Uh, I, I like them both for different reasons. I do, I actually like the fact that the substrate uh, prompts me to pull out the vacuum and, and, and clean it up. And uh, with some fish, especially with some of these uh, geophaguses that have those, those little neon specks on the body, it can really make those pop. And, and you can see the, uh, the Jack Dempsey in the background there. Uh, there's an electric blue Jack, Jack Dempsey back there. He really, really, really shines with this white with this white substrate. So I like them both for different reasons. I think they both, uh, you know, they're, they're both good in their own way. They're, they, uh, but I tell you, if you had real messy fish, if I had something like, uh, if I had, let's say, goldfish, I would definitely, I would definitely go with a darker substrate, you know, a, a, a fish that makes a tremendous amount of mess. If you a lot of plecos, you know, plecos are notorious for just being a massive poop, uh, poop factories. Uh, certainly, if you have fish that that you're uh, you're feeding quite heavily, uh, and they're producing a lot of a lot of waste and poop, a darker a darker substrate is going to uh, be a bit more a bit more forgiving and uh, not look quite as messy. So. Uh, those, those are my, that's my take on it. I can get into other things like the care of sand versus gravel, uh, the advantages of a, of a ragonite uh, and the disadvantages of a ragonite, the advantages of a light sand versus a, a heavier grade. Uh, there are lots of, of, of different things to consider when we talk about substrate and we can certainly get into those in different subjects. If there's a particular aspect, something particular about substrate that you would like to hear a discussion about, uh, please note it in the comments below and I will be happy to take it under consideration and include it either as the topic of an upcoming video or uh, maybe even include it in a live stream so we can get into a little bit of a two-way discussion on it. Uh, join me for live streams at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning, that's 10 a.m. Central, and that's for the cichlids and coffee live stream. All right, and um, if you haven't already done it, be sure to, uh, to hit that sub button, hit the thumbs up and all that good stuff, sub and all that, but also come visit on, on Facebook at Ben O. Cichlid. If you tried to get in and you couldn't get in, it's probably because you didn't answer all the questions. You have to answer all the questions or the moderators don't let you in the group. That's how we keep the trolls out and the bots out. Also, uh, come on over to the Ben O. Cichlid Instagram. And uh, if you're on Instagram, if you're on, on, if you're on Facebook and Instagram, come on over, follow on Instagram. I, <clears throat> I post things there that I don't post anywhere else. You'll get a little bit of a behind the scenes. You'll get some previews and things like that. All right. So uh, I hope you found this useful in some way. If you're about to select some substrate, comment below. Let me know what you think. What's been your experience with dark versus light substrate? We all learn from uh, we all learn from uh, each other here. Don't forget that, and uh, always be learning. The motto of the channel. All right. Look forward to seeing you on Saturday. That's it for me. Bye bye.